Well, many Michiganders love to spend a warm summer evening out on the water, be it on a boat or lounging on a floaty or diving off a dock. But what about a floating restaurant? That sounds pretty amazing, right? Well, our Michelle Oliver, you know her as uh, the foodie. She found a restaurant in Mount Clemens where you can actually dine on the water. Love Get ready to dine in the D at the Octopus Beer Garden on the Clinton River. Imagine this, a cool breeze off the water, the sun shining down on you, a delicious cocktail and some freshly fried walleye on the table with the sound of music lingering in the air. That's the kind of night that awaits you at Octopus Beer Garden in Mount Clements. It's kind of got a bit of a Florida, you're on vacation, just no worries in the world. Longtime restaurateur Bob Hallis runs the restaurant with his family and named it after his love of the Beatles. Strawberry Fields was our first Beatles themed restaurant and when we decided it was time to move on from that, we weren't sure what the new restaurant's name was gonna be. My wife came up with Penny Lane. When this place became available, we were tossing names back and forth and it was actually a friend of my daughter's that threw Octopus's Beer Garden out there. And it was, you know, ah, and here we are. But perhaps the coolest part of the whole place is that you're actually on the water. This restaurant is actually completely on the water and that the main part of it is a 1945 barge. This is a smaller barge that was added later and then the rest of the seating area is floating docks. And the food fits the atmosphere. Midwestern comfort food summertime, like stuff your mom or your grandma would maybe serve you that would, you know, be really special. Well, this is a delicious looking spread, so let's get into the menu and we're going to start off with one of their salads. This is their watermelon salad, which has fresh watermelon, heirloom tomatoes, feta cheese, a sherry vinaigrette over top, and it's served with a side of pita bread. If you're more in the mood for a sandwich, check out their smoked turkey melt. So this obviously has turkey on it, as well as bacon, Swiss cheese, a garlic mayo, all on rye bread. There's something about warm weather that just makes me want tacos, and they have two different options to choose from. These are their mahi-mahi tacos, where the fish is blackened, served with their house-made tartar sauce. You got a little bit of cotilla cheese on there cilantro, a fresh lime to squeeze over it, plus their house-made guacamole. Now they also have pulled pork tacos, which have radishes, pineapple salsa, and fresh jalapenos. Now they have a lot of options that you can buy by the pound for the whole table to enjoy, and one of these is their Cajun steak bites. So these steak bites are coated with Cajun seasoning. You got some barbecue sauce on there, caramelized onions, all served on top of garlic bread. Another great option for the whole table are these coconut shrimp. So you got, you know, classic coconut shrimp. This is served with a pineapple salsa and a spicy cocktail sauce. An option for the whole table that caught my eye is this walleye. It is freshly caught from the Great Lakes, lightly floured. You have a lemon butter sauce on top as well as capers, fresh parsley, and it's served with their tartar sauce. Now, if you're going for one of these by the pound platters for the table, you might want some sides to round it out. And some great options are their house made mac and cheese, which is topped with pretzels, or you can get their Mexican street corn. And finally, for dessert, they have their beer masseau, a fun take on tiramisu where they soak their lady fingers in a vanilla porter. This place looks great. It, it is. The atmosphere is awesome. You had me a beer masseau. Okay, uh, what did you? What did they drop off for us here? Okay, so Jason requested the spicy sautéed shrimp. So that's what he has in front of him. It looks like Hello. a delicious sauce all over that. Deli it smelled of like onions and garlic and a little bit of capers. I love capers. In there. Uh, Tati got the steak bites, which are right here, and she's already dived into them. I did. I had to taste one to make sure it was safe to eat. You know and, I mean? and, and how safe was it? It was good. It was, it was okay. It, We're good. <laughs> We're good. She's going to go eat more now. Um, these are Cajun seasoned. They have a lot of flavor to them. Caramelized onions on there. Jason, what do you think? Shrimp is really good. That's it's awesome. It's really, really good. I think, he, like we talk about, seasoning is really what makes a place, and I think this place also has very good, well-flavored food. Um, I brought the... Walleye, mm -hmm. aka mm -hmm. pickerel. 
<laughs> As we discussed earlier, that's the like older fashion name for it, or the name they use over in Canada. And I love Michigan fish. You can get yeah. perch there as well. They have perch and walleye. Love that. And then this was my favorite um, that I tried. That was the mahi mahi tacos. Look at that. That are blackened. Delicious. It's just really well balanced and. Everything, I mean, is, everything is really good. Thank you for seasoned food. That yes. means so much. And the and the steak bites are super tender. Yes. And just everything just delicious. Just mwah. And, the, and this yummy. is just spicy enough. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, good. Is it not like overpowering? It's not overpowering. No, it's it's just spicy enough. It's really good. All right. Awesome. Well, besides really good food, yes. do they also have entertainment? Yes, they did. So we have a video of this. There's actually a stage there that's floating kind of on the edge of the docks, as you can see right here. This. People play live music there. He once had a guy who was playing uh, like um, Louisiana style music and mm. he made gumbo as nice. he's singing. It's mm. like a whole event. They also have this lovely lawn area where you can sit and relax either before or after your meal where there's fireplaces. They also have cornhole over there so that you can Fun. toss and play that. And then you're more than welcome to bring your boat there. It's a no wake zone, but um, nice. you can pull up your boat to the dock. And Very nice. So where are they located? They're located at 152 North River Road. That's the road you take when you get off of I-94 to get to Mount Clemens, and it's right before you hit downtown, right along the Clinton River. That's funny. I like how Jason like moved his shrimp around to, to cover the little hole. <laughs> good. I have OCD. That's I can't okay. help it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Thanks, Michelle. Great. Thank you. Awesome. All right, if you want more restaurant restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It's free and you'll get it in your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletters tab at the top of clickondetroit.com.